this video i am going to talk about single line to ground fault conditions derivation this figure shows a three phase alternator or synchronous generator or ac generator these are the three names of ac generator the circuit diagram of ac generator three phase windings are here marked as a b and c the neutral is grounded through the impedance is at n here a phase current is ia b phase current ib and c phase current is ic here assume that the phase a is short circuited with ground that is the phase a line is touches with ground so that a fault current will flow in through this line so here the fault current if is equal to i fault current then remaining two phases are open circuited so that the ib is equal to zero then ic is equal to zero because in open circuit there is no current flowing through the circuit when the circuit is closed a current will flow in here applying the symmetrical components of currents the symmetrical components of currents becomes symmetrical components of the currents are given by the symmetrical components of currents are given by ia0 ia1 ia2 ia0 zero sequence current ia1 positive sequence current ia2 negative sequence current 1 by 3 1 1 1 1 a a square 1 a square a into the symmetrical currents ia ib ic here substitute the initial condition that is ib is equal to ic is equal to zero on substituting the conditions on substituting the conditions ib is equal to ic is equal to zero in the above equation the above equation becomes ia not ia1 ia2 is equal to 1 by 3 1 1 1 1 a a square 1 a square a i a 0 0 then multiply in the equation we get on multiplying on multiplying the above equation here multiplying ia not is equal to 1 by 3 into ia ia1 is equal to 1 by 3 into ia ia2 is equal to 1 by 3 into ia because the remaining two terms are zero therefore the equation becomes ia not is equal to ia1 that is equal to ia2 that value is equal to ia divided by 3 1 by 3 into ia that is ia divided by 3 here get the condition the symmetrical components of currents are equal in case of single line to ground fault the positive sequence current is equal to negative sequence current that current is equal to zero sequence current that value is equal to ia divided by 3 then next consider the sequence network equation from the sequence network condition derive the another condition from the sequence network equation network of the generator 
we get the following equation. The secret network equation already derived this equation in the previous video. That is symmetrical components method. VA0, VA1, VA2 is equal to 0, EA0 minus is it not zero 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 is it one zero 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 is it two into IA naught IA one and IA two here on substituting the condition from the previous equation from the previous equation the symmetrical components of currents are same Substituting this condition in this equation, substituting that is the symmetrical component of current IA0 is equal to IA1 and substitute IA2 that is negative sequence current is equal to positive sequence current because the three sequence currents are equal in the above equation. In the above equation, we get BA0, BA1, BA2. is equal to 0 ea 0 minus is it not 0 0 0 is it 1 0 0 0 is it 2 into in the place of ia not substitute ia 1 instead of ia 1 ia ia 2 substitute IA1. All the sequence currents are same. Then multiplying the above equation we get multiplying the above equation VA0 is equal to VA0 is equal to, to minus is it not into IA1? Is it not into IA1? Then VA1 is equal to VA1 is equal to EA minus Is it 1 into IA1? EA minus Is it 1 into IA1? Then VA2 VA2 is equal to minus Is it 2 into IA1? Minus Is it 2 into IA1? Now we know that unsymmetrical components of voltage is equal to sum of symmetrical components of voltage. According to this definition of symmetrical components method, the sum of sequence vector is equal to unsymmetrical vector. Here VA is the unsymmetrical voltage that is equal to sum of Positive sequence voltage, negative sequence voltage, and zero sequence voltage. Zero sequence voltage plus positive sequence voltage plus negative sequence voltage. Sum of sequence voltage is equal to the corresponding unsymmetrical voltage. Here substitute all the values here in this equation. Here substitute VA is equal to uh, the VA value is equal to zero. This is the initial condition. VA value is equal to 0. Then VA naught value, this one. VA naught value is equal to minus Z naught into IA1. Plus VA1 is equal to EA1, EA minus Z1 into IA1. Then VA2 is equal to minus Z2 into IA1. EA term left hand side, then IA in the IA common, take IA common, so that is it not is it one is it two into IA one. Therefore, IA one is equal to just to cross multiply the equation EA divided by is it not plus is it one plus is it two. Then you know that the fault current IF is equal to from this initial condition, the fault current IF is equal to IA. 
that is equal to if is equal to or if is equal to 3 into ia1 because here already we have derived that already derived ia divided by 3 is equal to ia1 the sequence current any sequence current over here ia is the fault current ia is the ia is the fault current but just to cross multiply we get 3 into ia1 is equal to ia that is it that is the fault current 3 into ia1 that is 3 into ia1 or 3 into ia0 or 3 into ia2 all are same now draw the sequence network here the three impedances are in series so that here add so here add this um, the circuit becomes the sequence uh, network becomes this is the zero sequence network the neutral is um, grounded through the impedance so here write 3 into z10 this is for generator reactance z0 the total impedance is taken as z0 that is the zero sequence impedance the voltage across this circuit is the zero sequence voltage va0 then a negative sequence impedance is set to the voltage across the circuit is va va2 then positive sequence circuit this is the positive sequence circuit the first phase reactance diagram of the equivalent circuit here this is this impedance is positive sequence impedance here this is ea the voltage across this circuit is va1 positive sequence voltage now here the three currents are safe so here i mark the currents here the current flowing through this zero sequence network and the positive sequence network all are same so here all circuits are connected series so that only the current value is same here this current ia1 current is flowing all the circuit ia1 is equal to ia2 that is equal to ia0 are the conditions obtained from single line to uh, ground fault this sequence network also important fault current by using this formula easily calculate the fault current if is equal to 3 into ia1 any one of the sequence current value known means just to multiply this value with 3 you get the fault current otherwise the sequence impedance values are given means here take ea divided by ea is the pre fault voltage that value is normally taken as one one divided by sum of all the impedances we get this value suppose the neutral impedance value given means add three into is and here the three into is certain value is added here and also find out the sequence current value by the use of this formula we can easily calculate the fault current Thank you.